think one of the interesting things, one of the most interesting and fascinating things about this job um, was that I soon realised that Arthur wanted to be really faithful to his dad's interpretation of the music. So um, I transcribed exactly what Simon had played, written and played uh, with the original band. Um, and when you listen to Simon's music, it all flows beautifully and it all seems perfect. Um, and you assume that it's all been very carefully scored out and you expect everything to be very sort of classically formatted. And when you start to analyse it, it's not at all. What I soon noticed was that Simon would take an idea and run with it and work with it for as long as it felt right. And when he felt that it needed to change, he changed it. And that can be anywhere. And I think how he worked with his band on stage, he'd, they'd do this thing and they'd get this nice feeling going and then he'd give the nod and say, right, this is where we need to move on and change now. And that's what would happen. So when you look at the stuff after I've scored it out, you think, well, this shouldn't really work. But it does, and it works beautifully. It works perfectly.